About a year ago when I first started working from home, I felt stuck. I felt like I needed a creative outlet. For those of you working in sales, you know how hard it can be to self-motivate, to be by yourself all day dealing with rejection. And that's what led to me building this YouTube channel. We've slowly built a leading community of salespeople around the world that are looking to find more success sooner rather than later. The purpose of this channel is to help elevate salespeople's belief in themselves. And that's why I like to share my experiences, both positive and negative, working in the front lines in my software sales shop each and every day. One of the most common questions I get on LinkedIn and down in the comments is, hey Trent, I'm working remote, I just started out a new company, I'm an SDR, I don't necessarily have a lot of resources. What advice would you have for me, I'm starting out a new company, to be more successful? And this is what I always try and convey in my videos and the direct messages that I send back to you guys who reach out is that, I'm not particularly talented or gifted, I'm just super driven and that helps me close the gap and make up for a lot of my deficiencies. I'm not the most talented salesperson, I don't have the most skill, I certainly don't have the most experience, I'm only 25 and had never had an internship or any past sales experience or worked in tech or had any connections, but what I lack in ability, I will always make up for in work ethic and the message I want to convey to you here today is that the only thing in your control is effort. That's the only thing and that's it. And if you feel stuck, if you feel like you're trying to reach that next level, if you feel like you don't necessarily know what to do, just start taking more effort, take accountability and own all your actions and I promise you, you will find more success sooner rather than later. The purpose of this video is what I wish I knew as a sales development representative. I spent the first two years of my career as an SDR, made over 40,000 cold calls, started out making 50 grand a year. I now make over $130,000 a year, if not more, as an account executive. So I wanna talk about the two key areas that I wish I knew earlier, but first, if you're in sales, if you wanna support the channel, make sure to drop a like on this video now and subscribe as well not to miss out on any more future videos. We put videos out literally every day. No other channels are doing this right now. Quality content, new ideas each and every day. Also, let me know what do you want to hear? What topics are important to you? What's top of mind? Drop them in the comments below. And if you'd like to verify what company I work for and my past quota attainment, check me out on LinkedIn. You absolutely connect, can connect with me on there and shoot me any DMs if you wanna connect or ask any questions. The two key areas that I wish I knew earlier as an SDR, and I'm not just gonna sit here and say, hey, if you work really hard, it's gonna solve all your problems. These are two areas that will put you in a better position to find the success you're looking for, improve your income, improve your life. Number one is that I wish I would have really embraced self-development early on. This isn't the most popular answer. You're not gonna hear that and it's not gonna blow a fuse in your head and you say, oh my gosh, that's what I needed. A lot of people are looking for this magic bullet of, oh, hopefully he says something in this video that gives me the motivation, that says, oh, if I only knew that, then it would change X, Y, Z. Here's something that I'm struggling with and I am hyper-focused on, and if I would have done earlier, I would have been in a much better position than I am here today. Self-development is essentially growing as a rep, improving your skills, understanding how to refine your craft. Sales is mastery. You can master the skill and it will always be valuable in the marketplace. You're never going to get automated. You're never going to get replaced by AI or robots as long as you can sell and connect with other people. And as a part of self-development and what you'll see for those of you who are SDRs, BDRs out there is that you're compensated and incentivized based on pipeline generation, cold calls, sending emails, setting up demos, booking meetings, pipeline amount, whatever it may be, and you spend a lot of time on that. As an SDR at my company, I set meetings, I would participate in that first meeting, and then I would drop off. For the first year and a half, I never sat in on a demo. I never sat in on a negotiation. I never sat in on, hey, how do you actually put together pricing? And what is your reasoning behind the pricing strategy? And what are the reasons why you win or lose? I never focused on that because I was just trying to get good at my job as an SDR. What I wish I knew earlier was to care more about that because as an account executive, all of those skills are needed for me to find success 
right here, right now. The ability to do quality discovery, to actually run demos. Hey, how do you put together a proposal? How do you drive compelling event in urgency and professionally follow up until the deal closes? Those are all things I had no idea how to do until two years into my career when I finally got my feet wet and dove headfirst into the pool of an account executive. So for those of you who are out there that are new in your career, that have the time, be patient and focus on getting good. That's why the Kobe Bryant's of the world, when he's shooting free throws, everyone else is eating lunch. Be that person that outworks other people. And a really important part of that is not just making more calls, it's not sending more emails, but it's spending more time on self-development to becoming a better person and a sales rep. Number two is that I wish I would have been more intentional about building out my personal brand earlier. Nobody cares if you're a top performer. It doesn't matter anymore. Everyone's a top performer. Everyone performs well. What's gonna separate you is by having a personal brand. Do people know you, first off? And then what do people know you for? If they don't know you for your work ethic, then you're probably not gonna stand out and you're not gonna separate yourself in the long run. People need to know who you are. So how do you build your personal brand? Posting on LinkedIn. Don't just be that person, although I love people who do this because it helps the company as a whole, it's all great. If you're that person who just has a generic article about your company and posts it without any context, what value does that add? What do you, are you, how much pipeline are you generating by posting random articles with no insights or perspective? Maybe you're crushing it, but if I had to guess, you're probably not. So why be specific brand around your company collateral why not build your own personal brand around yourself and your perspective, your experiences? It's hard to put yourself out there and just anytime you have that creativity, it's gonna scare you to show that aspect of yourself. And that's why each and every day I put myself out there in these videos. I'm always scared, it makes me feel better to talk and then I just post. I don't even listen to it, I just post, I put it out there and that's really the magic formula for me is I don't overthink, I don't overanalyze, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time editing, I just, do it, put myself out there, and let the rest take care of itself. And you would not believe the second and third order consequences, mostly positive, of creating this YouTube channel, of posting on LinkedIn. So many more people know who I am now. So many people I work with or in my network or who I wanna meet one day may be watching this video. So thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate your attention. It means the world to me. And that's why I do it each and every day. I wanna help people. I wanna get attention. I wanna keep putting wood on my fire. And I also will be patient and persistent and relentless and tenacious and continue to do it each and every day until I continuously inch closer towards my goals, which is really infinite. So it's really just a way of life and it's not something, I used to have a tough time making three videos a week. Now I'm making six, seven videos a week, each and every week, day after day. And that's what it takes to be successful, whether it be your sales career, your personal life, whatever you're trying to do, health, be persistent, keep going. Bottom line, people need to know who you are, spend more time on self-development. If you can outlast, outwork, and out improve the people around you, you will, you will reach whatever goal it is that you want in life, believe me. Keep watching my channel and you'll see me achieve my goals as well. Thanks so much for following along. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and connect with me on LinkedIn or drop a comment down below if you'd like to speak further. See you in the next video.